Hi, welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is going to be about WordPress, WooCommerce, and we're going to look at attributes and variations. It's one of the things that always gives people problems. Usually it's one of the things that once someone's been shown how to do it, they can do it. But when they come back to the shop three months later to add more products, it's got a little bit hazy and it's totally understandable why. So variation, the variation is the concept of being able to order a product with different variations. And the one example that's normally used is t-shirts. So I have a t-shirt and I may have it in a small, medium or large size. And maybe I want it in three color options, red, blue or black. So I could order a small t-shirt in red and a large one in black. Perfect. That's what variations are for. And no one's got any problem understanding what they're trying to achieve and why they're trying to achieve it. It's just how it's done in WooCommerce within WordPress. So let's just take a quick look at this one here. And variations have been set up, but actually in this case, it's not right. Size, one size. So if I go down, it says choose an option, one size. Well, I don't need to choose if there is no options to choose from. So that would be wrong. And specification here is polished black frame, jade, lenses, etc. Okay, but that's it. There's no other option. So in this case, what you see is what you get, which is these nice sunglasses here. So I do not need to do anything at all. Now, what these have got in them is what's called attributes. Now, to create a variation, you have to create an attribute, which we're going to look at. And an attribute on WooCommerce is typically shown in the Sizes tab here. So these are the attributes. The attributes are polished black frame and our color of lens, and the size comes in one size. We could actually call it specification, probably a good word as well. We can change the word to whatever we want. So I need the attributes and they're going to show here, which is great. And also the attributes are used for searches. So we have a search filter. I think I've got one loaded here. Here we go. This filter system works on attributes. OK, so I have to have the attributes for the search engine to work. So we do want them. And there's lots of different search filters. And nearly all of them work on attributes. A couple of them work on tags, but attributes is a lot better way of doing it. So go back to our glasses. So. Yes, this is great setup. Our attributes here, which is correct, but we've, we've converted them to variations, which is incorrect. So for a set of sunglasses like this, what we'd really like to see, it should be like this. That's perfect. The price is there because there's no options. So there's no variation in the prices. I don't need any different pictures. I can have more pictures of the same or, you know, zoom in like that. I just want to add that to the basket, bought the product, no problem. But let's have a look at this one. Let's have a play with this product because it's here to have a play with and let's have a look at the attributes and the variations and see what the two things do. So this at the moment, because I've reset it, is a simple product, which is correct. There are no variations to it. There are no variations, but there are attributes. Attributes are really, they're describing it in a very list sort of method. So let's click on attributes here. And as we got specification and size. OK, now I'm going to add some more attributes. I'm going to add a couple more. Let's add gender. OK, so we select gender because I've already got gender set up. Add. OK, now we can click in the box and it will give us our predefined ones we set up. That's one way of doing it. Or we can go to select all. And if you haven't got many, sometimes select all is quicker and then just delete the ones you don't want. If you've got 50 or 60 now and you only want two, I just let you scroll through and select them. But let's just go for male and female for now, okay? And we can save attributes. Now, when we save attributes, we don't have to go up the top here and go publish, okay, or update. On attributes, we can just do save attributes and it will work. Now, if we go back and look at that product and see what's actually happened. So we've now put an attribute of male and female. Is that a drop down box? No, a drop down box is a variation, but we have to do attributes before variations. So we go to sizes. Still loading, give it a second. Go to sizes. We now have gender, female and male. That's absolutely correct. That's what I told the program to do. So 
what do we want to do? Now, let's change this from a simple product to a variable product. Now, when I do that, if you look at attributes, there's no variations. But when I go variable product here, variations is going to appear below the attributes. OK, so variable product, variations have come. Now, let's go back to our attributes. We have our attributes. OK, let's, let's expand all of them. So we've got the polished white frame. Well, there's no choices there, so I don't need to use it as a variation, but it's correct to have it as an attribute. Size. Well, there's only one size. So again, I do not need to select it as a variation, but it should be there as an attribute. That is correct. Gender. I've now decided that this glasses or these glasses are going to come in female and male. OK, so we're going to click used for variations. Save attributes. So I don't have to go to publish again, but I've now done. So I've now said use of variations. So what does that do? Well, let's go back up to our product. Let's refresh those changes. Will it show here as a variation? No, it hasn't. Why not? Well, all I've done so far is say yes, I can use that attribute as a variation, but I've not specified it as a variation. OK, so that's very different. So let's go back. So. Yes, I don't mind using that as a variation. So now we go to variations. OK, variations isn't shown anything. But if I go link all variations, it will give me all the possible combinations. So in this case, there's only going to be two, male and female. Add two variations. OK, so here's my first one. I can now have it in female. The SKU number, which is your stock number, maybe it was a female, it might have a different code. So you could put the different code there. So when you got the order through, you would have the correct code for it. We now need to put a price, OK, because it's not a simple product. We can give all the different variations, different prices or the same price. Unfortunately, you do have to fill them manually one at a time. OK, so 160. This is quite handy. You could put a sale price. So oh, that's made that rather expensive. You could put a sale price. So you could have, for example, all the mediums and all the larges sold out really quickly of a product. But the small and extra, extra, extra larges, hey, I couldn't sell them, but I had to order some. So you can put them at the sale price because it's just that one product where the price will then be changed. So we got female. I change the price to 160. Male, give them a price, 160. And in this case, I'm not doing a sale price and I'm not going to change the stock numbers. I'm going to leave it. This is interesting here, this little window here. Let's click on that and it's going to open our media. So what it says is we can select different glasses. So if we were doing color and we had pink and black as an option, we could select the pink, set the variation image. So now when someone selects male in this case, we use male example. When they select male, the glasses are going to change to pink, OK, rather than the blue ones we have over here. So we're going to leave that and we'll, we'll, we know it's all wrong. I have to delete it all afterwards, but we'll do it as an example. OK, so now let's update. We have to update now in variations. We have to update. OK, it's not like the attributes. OK, so let's go back to the page. This one here, we have to refresh it. So now we should be able to select male and female. And I changed the image for the male. I gave the male the pink glasses. So let's see. So gender, because that was how the attribute was set up. That's correct. The price has disappeared because the price could be different depending on the selection. So you have to do the selection now to get the price. So we'll do oh, get rid of that GPS. OK, let's do female. So female, I can now to add to cart and it shows me the price is 160 pounds. Clear selection. OK, now it's kept 160 because that's the standard price. We can remove the standard price at the very, very top. So although we had two items, there's three boxes. Now, this is the clever bit. Let's go for the male. If you remember, we put a different image. Male, image picture changed. 
which is great, especially when you're doing colors or things like that. So that's really cool. So that's now working the way we want it to do. So let's come down and see if we can make some more changes. So let's go back to our attributes. Okay, we did gender. Let's see what else I've got in here. Let's do color. Okay, so I'm going to add my color. Obviously, I'm using wrong colors just for example. And let's go for a dark blue and let's go for a red. Okay, and save those attributes. Now remember, because it's an attribute, it will show up in the tab. It's not going to show up as a variation. For a variation, first, I need to use the variations. Now I have to save the attributes because I've made a change. Every time you make a change, save the change. Now we can go to variations. Okay. So we've got our products in here. We're now going to put link all variations. Now it's done four, but we only had two. But we haven't got two, have we? Because now what we've done, we've put two colours, but we've also got a male and a female. So you can have a male, one of two colours, a female, one of two colours. Okay. So as we can see here, so we had female, any colour, and we set the price. Female, dark blue. We can now set that price. Male dark blue, set that price. Female red, we can set that price. And of course, for every single one of these variations, if we wish, we can put another image. And we can also change the stock number if it's different for stock for ordering. Male red. So it now gives us every single possible combination and we can put an individual price in for every single one. Okay, so we've added all those prices. Let's update. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's refresh our sunglasses. Okay, we've now got the option of our gender and our colour. Perfect. So, let the page catch up still, sorry. Okay, so we have male, female, dark blue, red. Now on one of them, we had an image. Let's see if we can find it. It was on a male. Uh, was it on dark blue? No. I think that image went when we updated, so we'd have to redo them. And then we could add to the basket. So it will go in the basket as we want. So we now have our attributes on our variations. And remember, we've added attributes, haven't we? So if we add attributes, for this it's set up for sizes, so let's go in sizes, colour, gender, the size and polished. So these are all attributes but I've only used gender and colour as a variation. So we always want attributes, but the variation is when we need a selection. Now these glasses only come in blue and they're unisex, so we need to change that to make this product back the way it should be. So let's go to attributes. Colour is only one colour. In fact, we could leave that in there, couldn't we? We could have that. Let's go to our variations. We don't want variations, so we could delete all of those. But in fact, this is a simple product. So I can remove them if I didn't want them one by a time. OK, that will work absolutely fine. So remove them, remove them. But, you know, that's a bit long winded for what I want. I've made a mistake. It's not a variable product or maybe it was a variable product, but you only have one variant left now and you're not going to get any more. So what you want to do is come up to the box here and go, you know what? It's now a simple product. Thank you very much. OK, variations have gone. Attributes are still there. 
there will be no price because the price was on the variations. So we now have to set the price again. Okay, there's only one product, so one price. Let's go back to our attributes. Okay, gender. Uh, let's go and adjust these. Well, they're not really male or female. I would say they're... Ooh. I think I'd go for unisex on them. Boys or girls can have them. Nice colouring. Colour. Okay, let's have the colour in there. Why not? They're not red. They're not dark blue. I'd say they're light blue and white. So... Mm, Okay, we're going to give this a, a new. So we're going to add new. And let's call them light blue and white. Oh, bit of a lag there. Okay, and white. Because these are our attributes and attributes describe the product. So it's absolutely fine having them in there. Okay, so the unisex, light blue and white, that's good. We've got our size, one size, and specification tells me about the lenses. That's all good stuff, and I want that, okay? And I'm going to save my attributes. Okay, if you didn't update the price, it wouldn't be for sale. Same as on the variations. On the variations, if you missed the price out on one of them, it just won't be available, okay? It won't let you sell something for nothing. It's quite nice like that. Has this updated yet? Nope, let's update that one again. Okay, those are our glasses. Let's check that page out now. I think what might have happened here is that uh, WordPress may have cached the page for me. So if that's the case, uh, nope, that's fine. It's not cached it. So there you go. It's as it should be now. It's back to a single product, single price. We don't need to have any selections because it's got great information here. Okay. We go down to our sizes, which is our attributes. There we go. Color light blue, white. The unisex, the one sized, and it tells you what they are. More descriptions there. I've got related products, bro. So perfect. So that is how we do the attributes and variations. So attributes are first, variations second. Quite nicely, A becomes for V in the alphabet, so that's the order we work them in. Okay, so I hope that's going to help you to sort the confusion out of these attributes and variations and how to get them to work for you on your WordPress site. Okay, good luck. Bye.